God bless you, Global Christian friend. This is our, uh, first of all, when we began, I gave you some things about the heavens the other time. Uh, we will give you one more. We talked about the heavens going to uh, be shaken. We gave you the scripture. They're going to pass away. We gave you the scripture. They're going to be changed. We gave you the scripture. And uh, one more, the powers of the heavens, not the heavens themselves alone, but the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And you'll find that also in Matthew 24 and 29. So don't get the wrong understanding about the heavens being shaken and the powers of the heavens being shaken. We're talking about two different entities uh, here. And uh, I want to uh, say one thing here uh, that uh, was it a coincidence of the Bible that both the natural and the spiritual sides be revealed so that you and God may alternate the natural and the spiritual among yourselves, you and he or him. And I want to give you an insight, uh, a great insight, uh, before we move further on over into what the Lord want us to understand about uh, himself, his son, and the knowledge that he's given us. What is the determined will of the Father in heaven? What is the determined will of the Father in heaven? And I will get to that later on, but don't think that you know the answer because basically you don't know the answer unless the Father himself give you the answer. And you got to come by the Son in order to get the answer. And if there's no evidence that you came by the Son as yet, uh, then don't guess at such a high potent uh, question of such high calibrated knowledge. Now, we talked about uh, the 600 and the 48 words of Luke about the Sermon on the Mount, which is 1,790 words less than that of Matthew Levy. And uh, the last time we said uh, in 6, uh, Luke 6 and 18, and they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. But go back to verse 17. And he came down with them and stood in the plain, and the company of his disciples, and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coasts of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their disease. But I want you to look at one thing in verse 19. The whole multitude, like a woman at, at the issue of blood, sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him. And that virtue is power. In today's term, it is plasma, and it is not uh, hemoplasma, blood plasma, but solar plasma, like solar power, uh, solar energy. And uh, it went forth out of him, and uh, it says... In verse 20, he lifted up his eyes on his disciples. Actually, he lifted up his eyes on high, and he transfixed his eyes on high with no interruption. And uh, there was not recorded that he even batted an eye when he delivered this 648 word sermon with peace, with love, 
and with holiness. And you need to understand the difference between our blessed, be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God, as he said in Matthew Lever's account, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And there are two different qualifications uh, for the kingdom of heaven and for the kingdom of God. Now, this is rich in knowledge. This is rich in truth. And uh, uh, as we said, there are two different qualifications for these things. Uh, when he opened his eyes and didn't even bat an eye and was not interrupted during the whole 648 times that were recorded by Luke and the 2,438 time recorded by Matthew Levy in this sermon here. Now, uh, the poor, you poor, you get a good understanding about that from James chapter 2, verse 5. And when you look at James 2, verse 5, you'll understand about the kingdom, but you'll also get a good, clear understanding when you go over uh, into 2 Corinthians, uh, 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 well, 1 Corinthians, and understand that there are things eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, uh, have not entered into the heart of man which things God had prepared for them that love him, but they are of his kingdom. Now, uh, we are doing this because this is the Lord's commission. This is not my commission, but it's the Lord's commission. And you get your uh, Bible and uh, go along with us and you will find that this is not my commission, but it is his commission. Uh, we are doing it because he uh, 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 impressed upon our spirit and heart to do so. And we can only be obedient to him. We're not being paid to do this. We're not asking for uh, uh, whatever you would send in to do this. We are giving this to you because uh, he said, freely you receive and freely give. And looking at this great knowledge, understanding the difference between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God and the qualifications that both of them entails. And you will find both of these qualifications in Scripture. For the kingdom of heaven, for those of the spirit, and for the kingdom of God, those are natural. And uh, God wants you to be able to see this thing, uh, to bring God today into your presence so that he will remain with you forever. We will continue on in this discourse. God bless you, global Christian friends. Until next time, God bless you.